Maria Simmer was born on February 2, 1915, in Zontag, Austria. Since her childhood, Maria's her dream was to surrender her life to God as a nun, but due to her poor health, she was rejected by three different communities. At first, Maria did not understand why the Lord did not allow her to fulfill the desire he had stirred in her to consecrate herself. But, eventually she understood that the consecration the Lord asked of her would not take place in a religious community, but in a demanding service of charity toward the poorest souls in purgatory. She received the first encounter with a soul in purgatory one night in 1940 when she was 25 years old. From 1940 until 1953, only two or three souls visited her each year, usually during the month of November. In 1954 a Marian year was proclaimed by Pope Pius XII on the occasion of the proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. During that Marian year the souls visited Maria every night. When the Jubilee year ended, the visits became somewhat fewer, but normally they were not less than three or four visits a week. A few days before the Marian year began, Maria Simmer began to suffer mystical sufferings in expiation for the souls in purgatory. The following are excerpts from this interview of Sister Emmanuel of Medjugorje with Maria Simmer, taken from a booklet entitled, The Amazing Secret of the Souls in Purgatory. Maria, can you tell us how you were visited for the first time by a soul in purgatory? Yes, it was in 1940. One night, around three or four o'clock in the morning, I heard someone coming into my bedroom. I saw a complete stranger. He walked back and forth slowly. I said to him severely, how did you get in here? Go away. But he continued to walk impatiently around the bedroom as if he hadn't heard. So I asked him again, what are you doing? But as he still didn't answer, I jumped out of bed and tried to grab him, but I grasped only air. There was nothing there. So I went back to bed, but again I heard him pacing back and forth. I wondered how I could see this man, but I couldn't grab him. I rose again to hold on to him and to stop him from walking around, again, I grasped only emptiness. Puzzled, I went back to bed. He didn't come back, but I couldn't get back to sleep. The next day, after Mass, I went to see my spiritual director and told him everything. He told me that if this should happen again, I shouldn't ask, who are you? But what do you want from me? The following night, the man returned. I asked him, what do you want from me? He replied, have three masses celebrated for me, and I will be delivered. So I understood that it was a soul in purgatory. My spiritual director confirmed this. He also advised me never to turn away the poor souls, but to accept with generosity whatever they asked of me. And afterwards, the visits continued? Yes, for several years, there were only three or four souls, above all in November. Afterwards, there were more. What do these souls ask of you? In most cases, they ask to have masses celebrated and that one be present at these masses. They ask to have the rosary said and also that one make the stations of the cross. Maria, do the souls in purgatory have, nevertheless, joy and hope in the midst of their suffering? Yes. No soul would want to come back from purgatory to the earth. They have knowledge which is infinitely beyond ours. They just could not decide to return to the darkness of the earth. Here we see the difference from the suffering that we know on earth. In purgatory, even if the pain of the soul is just terrible, there is the certitude of living forever with God. It's an unshakable certitude. The joy is greater than the pain. There is nothing on earth which could make them want to live here again, where one is never sure of anything. Maria, can you tell us now if it is God who sends a soul into purgatory, or if the soul itself decides to go there? It is the soul itself which wants to go to purgatory, in order to be pure before going to heaven. Maria, at the moment of death, does one see God in full light or in an obscure manner? In a manner still obscure, but, all the same, in such brightness that this is enough to cause great longing. Maria, can you tell us what the role of Our Lady is with the souls in purgatory? She comes often to console them and to tell them they have done many good things. She encourages them. Are there any days in particular on which she delivers them? Above all, Christmas Day, All Saints Day, 
Good Friday, the Feast of the Assumption, and the Ascension of Jesus. Charity covers a multitude of sins. Maria, why does one go to purgatory? What are the sins which most lead to purgatory? Sins against charity, against the love of one's neighbor, hardness of heart, hostility, slandering, calumny, all these things. Other sins against charity are all our rejections of certain people we do not like, our refusals to make peace, our refusals to forgive, and all the bitterness we store inside. Maria also illustrated this point with another example which gave us food for thought. It's the story of a woman she knew very well. This lady died and was in purgatory, in the most terrible purgatory, with the most atrocious sufferings. And when she came to see Maria, she explained why. She had had a female friend. Between them rose a great enmity, caused by herself. She had maintained this enmity for years and years, even though her friend had many times asked for peace, for reconciliation. But each time, she refused. When she fell gravely ill, she continued to close her heart, to refuse the reconciliation offered by her friend, right up to her deathbed. Maria, please tell us, who are those who have the greatest chance of going straight to heaven? Those who have a good heart towards everyone. Love covers a multitude of sins. What are the means which we can take on earth to avoid purgatory and go straight to heaven? We must do a great deal for the souls in purgatory, for they help us in their turn. We must have much humility. This is the greatest weapon against evil, against the evil one. Humility drives evil away. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Star of the Sea, pray for us.